how to build and deploy a React application using Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.2. And attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that has the Heroku CLI installed on it. Down in the description of this video is a link to the sample repository that we're going to be using. And let's go ahead and take a look at this repository. If you take a look at this, this is a very basic React application. And in fact, I just did an NPX create React app and gave it a name, in this case, Jenkins example React. I haven't made any changes to any of the files that were generated from NPX. However, I have created two new files, a Docker file and a Jenkins file. Let's take a look at the Docker file. And what you're going to see here is that we are going to be using a multi-stage build within the Docker file. First off, we're going to be setting a specific version of Node. In my case, this is the current LTS 16.16.0 based on Buster. We copy over our files, we run npm ci, then we copy over any of the other files and then run npm run build. Once this is completed, the actual image that will be distributable is the Apache image that's based on Alpine. Now I could have chosen Nginx, but in my case, I just chose Apache. And what I did from here is set the work dir to the Apache root. Then I copied over from the build stage all the files that were in the build directory. I changed the ownership on the Apache root. And then since we're going to be deploying to Heroku, I needed to change the specific listen port, in this case, listen 80, to listen and the literal dollar sign brace port close dollar sign inside the Apache config file. So once this container starts up, the port that Heroku assigns us will be the port that Apache is actually listening on. Now let's go take a look at our Jenkins file. And within our Jenkins file, it's a very straightforward declarative pipeline. Since we're using Heroku, we need access to the API key. We're setting up the image name and the image tag. And we also are referencing the application name at Heroku. In this case, we're going to set it up to be Jenkins example react. So I'm going to copy that. Now taking a look at the actual pipeline, a Docker build, we log into the Heroku container registry. We go ahead and tag and push our image up to the container registry, and then we release the application. And then finally do a logout from the registry. Let's go over to Heroku and let's create our new application. We'll paste in Jenkins example react, create the application. Next up, we need to create the credential to interact with Heroku. So let's go over to my profile. We'll click on account settings. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the API key section. We're going to click on reveal and we're going to copy this API key. Let's go back over to dashboard and create the credential. Manage Jenkins, manage credentials. The type of credential that we're going to be creating is a secret text. So we'll paste the value into secret. Let's go back over to the Jenkins file. Let's copy the credential ID that is in the Jenkins file. We'll paste that into ID and into description and click create. So at this point, we have our repository, we have our application at Heroku, and we have our credential set up within our controller. So now we're ready to create our job. Click on dashboard, new item. We'll call this React. Click on pipeline and click OK. Let's go back over to our repository. We need to get the URL. So we'll go to code, click on that copy, go back over to React. We'll change our definition to from SCM. We'll change our SCM to get. We'll paste in the URL. Let's change our branch specifier to main and verify that our script path is still Jenkins file, and it is. So let's go ahead and click on OK, and then let's click on Build Now. And now that the job has completed successfully, let's go over and take a look at the app running. So let's go back into Heroku. Let's go back to the application, click on Settings. We'll scroll down to the domain. We can see our app domain here. Let's go ahead and open in a new tab. And if we take a look at this, we now see the default page that's generated from Create React App, so we know that our application is up and running. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.